हेलो एवरीवन दिस रितेश फ्रॉम डांसिंग विद डेटा क्योंकि डेटा ही दाता है आई एम रितेश एंड आई टॉक अबाउट बोथ टैब्लो एंड पावर बी आई दिस इज माय वेबसाइट यू कैन गो टू माय माय ब्लॉग सेक्शन एंड यू कैन आल्सो सी स्पेशली द टैब्लो वर्सेस पावर बी आई सेक्शन ओवर देयर दैट विल बी प्रीटी हैंडी इफ यू आर अ टैब्लो डेवलपर वांट टू लर्न पावर बी आई और वॉइस ही वर्सा नाउ इट इज एवरीबॉडी इज टॉकिंग अबाउट चैट जीपीटी यू कैन चैट जीपीटी replace a data analyst i have seen a lot of videos means i like also i also tried you know with chat gpt how to create a bar chart and pie chart but i mean th- those are not uh, the things that you might not get from the google search right so so that did not excite me so i did not create any video on the same but today i got something interesting today chat gpt gave me end to end resolution of a problem not only involved you know creating a bar chart with a reference line but also it solved the scenario with the with the condition with the calculated field as well using windows function or say fixed or say lod functions as well and it gave me almost end to end and that includes addressing and partitioning as well in some of the cases in some of the cases it won't satisfy but almost end to end so the, i wanted to create this end product so i had that question with me so i want to create a bar chart where within a categories i want to have average as the reference line not only that yes not only that it should get the reference line within the categories not at the table level and also it should also color the chart color the bar with a different color whenever it crosses the average line chat gpt solved this question that to end to end right let let's see how much it can solve right but it surprised me it did surprise me that's why i am creating this video otherwise you know how to create bar chart how to create that that, that is nothing right because it involves addressing partitioning calculation it involves uh, either windows function or say fixed lod function let's pose this question to chat gpt so let uh, i am using tableau and i have created a bar chart with measure sales at row shelf and dimensions category and subcategory at column shelf how can i create a reference line which can show average sales within each category and color the bars above this line with a different color the scenario that i already discussed so let's see okay drag the category dimension column chart and place the category dimension within category dimension in the column shelf itself okay great right add the reference line from the column add the reference line and the value by the default i'll be get average per pane so you know this is very impressive per pane because it will be per pane because there are three options over there so it has defined the scope correctly over there now customized and after that it is giving you the calculation as well sales is great and it is giving you window calculation <laughs> windows calculation right and drag the above sales calculated field to the color so let 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 us try to just uh, follow this and and let's see if we can recreate that one because that's what we wanted right this one so let's see and we'll we'll do it from the scratch and okay let's say it says that drag the category to the to the columns and says whether to the rows sub category okay fine so category and sub category is in the column shelf right so i say category and sub category in the column shelves and you have sales there right here you go great now after that it says that we need to add a reference line right add a reference line with the average option under the value and uh, the scope is per pane because that's what we wanted right so we go we add a reference line and um, per pane say some of says average that's great and we say okay ah, okay that's what we wanted now the third thing was uh, in fact for which you need a particular calculation right not a simple calculation not a straight forward you need to know the uh, you know windows function right how it goes how you can compare with that now let's see if I, if i can just, just copy paste and do that right okay maybe i'll need to make a slight modification a slight one i go over there calculate field here you go and i say above average right it's okay we can give some points right we can give some brownie points over there because we just need to put some of says to make it an aggregate and also at the same time we need to ensure that we have a new name over there because i already have one more calculation so above so calculation is perfectly fine apply okay and underscore one underscore one we have only one and here you go 
and at the end you have to just make one more change and that is a slight change because we already know we have already been informed that we have you have to go per pay right so we need to just uh, repeat it again once more so that that step is already defined by the way pin across and here you go everywhere where where it is crossing the line it's orange otherwise it's blue so it's it's crazy now it's crazy because it is giving you everything from line 1 to the means almost everything you know apart from that sum that i have made right over there everything is there so i say final view with chat gpt you can find this workbook at the description i am giving you all the conversation that i am having right now over there at the caption so you can just copy it and you can see it yourself is that you have to phrase it pro properly your question that's what because i am still new to chat gpt but you have to phrase your question properly because earlier i was not getting the that sort of i was not getting that level of accuracy but then your question should be proper right so if you're not ask ask a proper question so you should not expect a proper answer as well so this is ritesh signing off from dancing with data kyunki data hi data hai kya tum ko sab kuch aata hai see you next time with the next new video probably another chat gpt video till then it's bye bye